I'm back. And this time I'm gonna go over my poster collection. At least some of my posters. I actually moved not too long ago, so I haven't set up all my posters, but let me know if you like this video and maybe I'll go over all my other posters. So let's get started. First up, we got Big Trouble in Little China in 1986. One of my personal favorites from the 80s. Actually, the first John Carpenter movie I ever saw as well. So I grew up watching this movie. Very memorable, very quotable, and the movie is a cult classic for a reason. So yeah, definitely check it out if you're a fan of you know 80s action movies or a fan of John Carpenter if you haven't already. Next up, we got RoboCop from 1987. I talked about RoboCop before in my Q&A video, and I stand by what I said. Definitely, you know, another personal favorite of mine as well from the 80s. Uh, very memorable, very quotable, like the like uh, the other movie I was talking about, and just a masterpiece, really was. Um, I also enjoy RoboCop 2 as well, even though it's not as good, but it's still fun to watch. Everything after that, though, isn't good, though, uh, especially the remake, which was honestly pretty pathetic and you know just boring and uninspired, and just everything bad about modern action movies. Next up, we got Enter the Dragon. I actually used to have another poster just like this uh, years ago that I used to have hanging on my door, but I punched a hole through my door and ruined the poster, which is kind of funny. But I did replace it not too long ago, so that's nice. And also Jack Chan is uh, you know, in, the, in Enter the Dragon as well. It's actually one of um, one of the guys who grabs Bruce Lee from behind, and Bruce Lee like, you know, breaks his neck. So that's pretty cool. And you know, everyone knows, you know, uh, Bruce Lee didn't live to see Enter the Dragon. He was also working on Game of Death at the same time, but everyone knows he didn't finish Game of Death. But yeah, Enter the Dragon was the last movie he uh, finished, which is unfortunate, you know, since. Obviously, he had a lot of potential. Next up, we have Hard Boiled from 1992, directed by John Woo. This is actually John Woo's last Hong Kong action movie before he came to Hollywood. And it's definitely one of his best, I think. Uh, very action packed, and definitely some of the best shootouts ever on film, I think, especially like the hospital shootouts, it's great. Very action packed, so definitely check it out if you're a fan of Hong Kong cinema or just, you know, action movies in general, definitely one of the best from the 90s, I think. Next up, we got Hard Target, also directed by John Woo. This was John Woo's first Hollywood flick and I actually consider it to be one of his best. Starring Sean claude Van Damme. Easily one of my favorite Van Damme movies, if not my favorite. And the movie's a lot of fun. It's very action-packed, like hard-boiled. I mean, what's not like? You got Mullet Van Damme punching rattlesnakes, shooting guys a dozen times, kicking them in the face. It's great. It's a lot of fun. And they just don't make action movies like this anymore. And as great as this movie was, unfortunately, um, it was cut down a lot because of the MPAA. So if you ever get a chance to see the work print, definitely check it out. But even the cut they have on Blu-ray is great as well, but the action scenes John Woo cut were damn good. Uh, which is unfortunate because, you know, the MPAA um, refused to tell John Woo what he needed to cut to get the R rating. And because of that, John Woo cut a lot out of the movie that probably shouldn't have been cut and wouldn't be cut today. But even so, Hard Target is a lot of fun, so check it out. And easily one of my favorite action movies from the 90s. Next up, we got Jack Chan's First Strike, also known as Police Story 4. I'm a big fan of Jack Chan. 
I grew up watching Jack and Chan movies. Um, even when I was a kid, when I was asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, I said I wanted to be Jack and Chan, which is pretty funny. So obviously I'm a big fan of the guy. I've seen most of his movies, but not all of them, since the guy has been over 200 movies, I think. So the guy's obviously very productive. But I think Jack Chan was in his prime in the 80s and 90s. But uh, First Strike is uh, really good as well. Uh, it has one of Jack Chan's most memorable fight scenes, him uh, using a ladder against a bunch of guys. And also it's pretty much Jack Chan's take on 007. So uh, check it out if you haven't already. Next up, we got Cobra. 1986, starring Sylvester Stallone. Another personal favorite from the 80s. And honestly, this movie has some of the best one-liners in the 80s, I think. Uh, the movie's a lot of fun. But unfortunately, like Hard Target, this movie was heavily cut down as well because of that MPAA, uh, which is always unfortunate. And Apparently the movie was cut down even more because um, the movie wanted to compete with Top Gun. So they cut the movie down even further to 90 minutes. And apparently Stallone had something to do with this as well, which uh, actually worked because the movie was successful when it came out, but definitely um, affected the quality of the movie, which is unfortunate. There is a work print of this movie, but it's extremely rare and I'm sure the quality of it is almost unwatchable considering the age of this movie. Uh, which is unfortunate because I'd love to see that uncut version of Cobra, but it's probably never going to be released since Warner Bros. doesn't give a shit. But even so, the theatrical cut is still entertaining, just uh, but uh, the ed editing is choppy at times since the movie was cut down so quickly. So there's a lot of mistakes in the movie, like there's this part where you know, Cobra is cleaning his gun, but in the next scene, he takes out the gun again to clean it. It's, um, so there's a lot of little mistakes like that, but probably one of the biggest is during the car chase, when uh, you can clearly see the bad guy's car crashed into the boat, but they never show that in the movie. So it's unfortunate that, you know, there's so many mistakes like that in the movie because of how quickly the movie is cut down. So, if I ever do meet Stallone, I'll ask him where the uncut version of Cobra is. But for now, uh, Cobra is still worth checking out, especially if you're a fan of 80s action movies. Alright, so that's my poster collection. So, let me know if you like this video or not, and maybe I'll go over the rest of my collection. So, until then, I'll see you next time.